Okay, this one is called Insane Genshin Impact Boycott is backfiring. And this topic is very interesting to me because it's about the Natland drip marketing. And there's a whole shitload thing going on. And I just wanted to show you something first. My Natland video, 136 dislikes here to 259 likes, right? This is using a third party extension through Google Chrome that shows you the dislikes, which is not accurate. You know why? Because if I actually show you in the analytics, right? If I actually show you what is going on, sorry, let me just show you like this. Bring this over here. I want you to look at the dashboard here, right? This is the same video right over here. Natlan video, 38 dislikes only. It already shows you how crazy Hoyaverse fucking fanboys are with brigading with bots with negative comments. But hey, let's check what Rev has to say. Hey, what's up guys, Rev here. So today we have another round of Genshin Impact related drama to cover because there is a full on revolt in a portion of the Genshin Impact community. When isn't there, man? The lack of PvP and end game content makes it such that the true PvP is outside of the fucking game. I believe this is now the 10th boycott of this game started. Only? That's where we're on like 30 something. By its own players. Now, why is this happening? Well, recently there was a new region called Natlin that was. Yeah, and it's supposed to represent, you know, a territory, a nation, a continent that doesn't have a lot of light skinned characters representation according to lore. But just like Sumeru, you know, Hoyoverse decided to put in their light skinned characters because they simply sell better. And now people are upset about the representation. Previewed, and in this preview, we saw some new characters being introduced to Genshin Impact, and people on Twitter are very, very upset. Oh, yes. Claiming this is cultural appropriation as well as whitewashing because the skin tone of these characters <gasps> is fairer than they yeah. would have expected from this fictional region. Yeah. Yes, my condolences to the citizens of Natlin. I hope they get the justice and that they deserve in this situation. And again, the key takeaway is fictional region, right? While there is definitely inspiration that people take like Mondstadt for example what is the whole area supposed to represent like Europe I think what is Inazuma supposed to represent Japan Liyue China obviously there is direct inspiration from real places and I think Natland's supposed to be like South America I'm not sure if it's Africa Sumer is supposed to be with some sort of desert continent and of course those places has darker skin toned people and people are upset that there's no representation of darker skin characters or minimum and I think at the end of the day, and I had the same take the entire time, and that's why people are mad on the Genshin Impact video. Hoyverse is not racist. You can think whatever you want. Hoyverse just simply wants the most money they can fucking make. And they make data-driven decisions. And they know that every time a light-skinned wife or has bound a banner gone out, that on average did way better on performance compared to the dark skinned waifu banners. And you could say some other shit like, oh, well, if you take a step back, why is it that light skinned banners are doing well? Well, is it because of fucking white supremacy and the beauty standards being so Western centric? I don't fucking know. But what I do know is Hoyver sees numbers and they're simply acting upon it. It's not that they hate darker skin tone people, it's just that darker skin tone people just doesn't make as much money compared to the contrast situation. But this has gotten really, really out of hand. To the point where now IGN and other sources like this are making articles covering the situation. Is IGN even fucking reputable? Aren't they basically like fucking Kotaku? Which, and you can see the headline right here, Genshin Impact is facing more accusations of cultural appropriation and whitewashing, and some of its voice actors are <laughs> asking publisher Hoyoverse to make changes. Wait, what voice actor? They're like, yo, I will not voice act the rest of my lines? Unless you turn the skin tone of my character dark. Really? Is that actually? So here's one of the voice actors joining in on this movie right. in a tweet with over 1 million views. They say Let's this. If a game draws so heavily from real world cultures and bases a character on the supreme deity of the Yoruba religion, and that character ends up looking like pale Sasuke Batman, people are absolutely within their rights to demand better representation, especially when said game has yeah. clearly stated commitment to a global audience. And the commitment there of global audience means that Hoyoverse has all the intentions to sell their products to a global audience, but it does not mean that they are accountable to hold representation for these areas. I don't know. I hope y'all keep making your voices heard, and I hope they listen. 
This is the definition of a first world problem. These people are more angry about the complexion of these characters than they are the actual atrocities <laughs> being committed by the Chinese government against its own <laughs> citizens. Like it's. That's a very good point. Hold the fuck up. Let's take a let's take, let's take a couple step back. And what kind of company is Hoyaverse? China, CCP, Uyghurs. There's a bunch of other social injustice going on right now, right? So they're gonna microscopically focus on this fucking representation in a fictional fucking nation in a video game when the company itself has other things that you know should maybe people should be you know holding them accountable for absolutely wild and looking at this tweet as a voice actor why would me hoyo ever want to continue working with you it is a very terrible look you are essentially accusing your own boss of cultural appropriation and whitewashing while also riling up a portion of their fan base that is trying to boycott the game currently like you are well you know maybe mr koi dao is actually a giga brain right and while it may seem like a bad idea to shit your talk to your boss right like maybe he just really is him and with this movement by taking advantage of the rage baits and getting all the engagements maybe this will lead to better opportunities i don't fucking know or maybe he just gets him blacklisted who knows are actually encouraging people who are hurting the bottom line of the company. Why would they ever want to hire you again? If they're halfway serious, they would realize how bad of a look this is and how much it just it's farming. actually harming their company. But going forward, a lot of people on Twitter are trying many different ways to basically uh, <laughs> punish Mihoyo and get This basically says, oh, you guys, can you see that at the top? This is, what if we all mass report against you until their account gets banned, then maybe we can do something. Um, just fucking stop spending money in the game, right? Just stop spending money in the game, quit the game, stop playing it. It's just that simple. You want a game to suffer and die and want them to fucking listen to you. Every time I've ever played a gotcha game and there's been drama and then anytime devs were pressured to say anything, it's because of review bombs. Anytime there's been apps to review bombs, a brigade of a community and actually uh, going out to hurt their wallets, then there's actual change. But as we've seen from the past Genshin boycott as well, this is such a marginalized audience, such a small fraction of the vocal minority that's making a lot of noise that makes it seem like it's doing crazy. But if you look at the banner sales, like I think it was during Shin Yan banner where everything was like Genshin boycott this, Genshin boycott that. Like it was still like record breaking. And it just really shows that numbers at the end of the day just represent that vast majority of people just do not give a fuck about fringe issues like this. These are, while it seems like there's a lot of people, it's very a fringe group of people that's being very triggered and upset on Twitter. But at the end of the day, if the vast majority of people don't also, you know, unite and brigade, then no change will ever happen. I'm not even sure if change even needs to happen. Genshin Impact for what's happening with this new region of the game. I've seen multiple posts like this, this individual saying this. What if we mass reported Genshin until their account gets banned? Maybe then they'll do something. And what are they reporting these official Genshin Impact accounts for? Hate, hate speech. I regret to inform this individual it is not hate speech to introduce fair skin characters into a game. That is not. Yeah? Well, that's because you're fair skin too, Rev. Look at this VTuber model, bro. I bet Rev is also culturally appropriating, man. Look at this fair skin VTuber. Why don't you have a darker skin tone VTuber model, Ray? Why don't you want representation? Not hate speech. In fact, the only person in the scenario that is risking violating Twitter's TOS is you by abusing it by sending false reports. Is this post right here. This is targeted harassment. You can't tell people to falsely report an account until it's banned. That is actually against Twitter's TOS. However, the main account here that a lot of people have been uh, using <laughs> for this boycott is this HYV boycott, the official account for the wow. Hoyoverse boycott. Yes, this is a very, very... And make no mistake, I am not very fond of Hoyoverse. Their content, it's all right, but they do a lot of dumb shit, especially with Genshin. Honkai Star Oil has been a breath of fresh air, but like there's been a lot of fucking problems with it. I don't like boot looking corporations either, but sometimes... You have to really face the facts and look at a lens of what's actually going on. And these, every time these fucking social justice riots happen, every time like people have a mental breakdown over fucking skin tone representation in different areas, like, is that really Hoyoverse's fault? Or is that because that audience that's saying all that shit feels so radicalized that they even think that an a imaginary land in a video game having 
light-skinned characters is suddenly meaning they're whitewashing their culture. Don't you think that's a little bit extreme? Like, how does one even jump to that conclusion? Very serious situation right here. So let's check out some of their posts. Here's the first one saying, I think it's safe to say that we have all had enough of the erasure of our cultures and identities. Today, I introduce you to the Boycott Hoyaverse account. We will be an account sharing how you can boycott, spread the word, anything helps. Again, these people are way more angry about this than anything the Chinese government- I wonder if the boycotts will- I don't think the boycotts are gonna do shit. Hoyaverse is way too fucking big to fail. They- you look at the fucking gacha charts, you look at the revenue, they are too big to fail at this point. But I wonder if the boycott would actually backfire and end up just doing more marketing. More other people see is like, what's going on? What's Genshin Impact? Oh, I kind of heard about Genshin Impact. Oh, look at these characters. They look kind of hot. Why are they so mad about this? I don't know, but I might end up playing Genshin Impact now. Like, it would be so ironic if this actually just ended up as a marketing campaign for Genshin. Government is doing and it's absolutely insane. But let's see the main- You know what? Conspiracy take. All right, let's put the tinfoil theory on. The conspiracy here is that Hoyaverse has paid actors to make outrage posts like this because any negative press still creates visibility on the game. So anytime boycott Genshin or shit like that happens, it's actually Hoyoverse agent that is acting on their own behalf. Yes, that's my conspiracy theory. Main post people are clowning on right now. This is a do and don't suggestion of what you can do during this boycott. The things you should do and the things you shouldn't do. And before we get into the actual mm. things listed here, notice that in the do's and don'ts, you will never find any mention of people being told not to play Genshin Impact. At no point does it say, don't play Genshin Impact. The iron will of Twitter activists, right? They can't. Yeah. If you can't uninstall the game, if you can't, Stop playing the game like like nothing's gonna happen. You want change, you need to review bomb the app store, you need to quit the game and everyone has to do it. And once enough monkeys band together and do it, the bottom line will hurt, the corporations will listen. But any social movements like this, even back in the day, I remember there was a whole brigade of let's boycott Reddit. They're like shutting down their public API or some shit. I forget exactly what's it called. But anytime there's any movements like this, while yes, there's going to be a vocal minority and it makes it seem like there's like a community of people that's really brigading together. People forget the shit in like two weeks and they move on. It's just a bunch of kids farming for engagements, but no one actually gives a fuck. Because if they did, they would simply act. If they actually cared about their ideals, they would act on behalf of it and everyone would quit together. But no one has the balls to do that. That's why nothing will change. Can't even stop playing the game that they're boycotting. But anyways, let's look at their, their do section. The first thing they encourage you to do is review bomb Genshin Impact in Hoyoverse games. Uh, that's interesting. That's actually been proven to work. No, I have played other games such as Epic 7 as well, where anytime some shit went down, a review bomb, the community bands together and tries to hold the devs accountable and they listen. Smilegate has listened quite often for Epic 7. There's been a lot of different dramas for Epic 7 as well, but that is one of the things that I've seen proven to actually make a difference from the devs to willing to listen. But I don't think Hoyoverse ever listens. They don't give a fuck. Because normally Twitter is very against review bombing. When we see games getting review bombed by players who are upset with the content, typically people on Twitter say that's a bad thing and they shame you for doing it. But all of a sudden now, it's okay. But they also say like and retweet, yes. Help boost this account into the algorithm. You guys should do the same thing with this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. This is a very, very okay. serious thing I'm talking about here. All right, They also later. say... Share posts from us, share posts from uh, black indigenous people of color, spread the word, tell a friend, encourage others to speak up. Now I was gonna say, imagine telling like your coworker about this situation, but let's be- You go to your fucking job. Hey, did you know a game about Genshin? What's a Genshin Impact? Well, you say it's an anime waifu game and they're coming up with these new regions and they're not dark skin, so can you please brigade the game? Like any reasonable person, any- Normal functioning adult in society could not be bothered enough to do this shit. They got more pressing concerns than the fucking skin tone of an imaginary character and an imaginary content in a fucking video game, man. To be honest, the, the people boycotting this game would be more appropriate to say, like, their classmates. So, like, imagine telling your classmate to, uh, to join in on this boycott. Like, it's absolutely goofy, but this gets even worse. So down here it says, respond to surveys, uh, send complaints <laughs> to customer support. And this part is wild. Sign the linked petition 
and contact your local politicians to reach Hoyoverse in China? Yeah? If I call all my local politicians and say, Big bad me Hoyo, they're being racist. Can you please make them stop? All right, we're gonna contact Mr. Mihoyo himself. I don't know how far this is gonna go. They want you to contact your local politicians over this new region in Genshin Impact and the skin tone of the characters contained within it. Please be serious. And if there are people like hate watching this video who are involved in this boycott, let me tell you something with true sincerity here. Okay. Please do not waste your time contacting these local politicians and wasting their time and resources on something like this. First of all, they're going to have no idea what you're talking about. They're going to be completely confused and they're just going to they're gonna think basically they're close out of your so. email. But on top of that, there are infinitely more important things going on in the world yes. right now that would be worth your local politician's time more than this. Okay? Why are people getting fed up that the cost of a junior chicken has increased from $1 to $3.19 where I live in Canada, bro? Why are people not uh, this fucking motivated and angry at the average rent of a one-bedroom apartment in Vancouver, British Columbia is reaching $3,000? What the fuck is a bag of Mrs. Vicky's chips almost five goddamn dollars in 2024? When back in the day, I could get two for five at a gas station and that was also a markup price. Why aren't people getting fed up with this bullshit? But this is the thing that we're worried about, the video game shit, bro? Just be serious for a second. And they also say down here, post in the official Hoyaverse account comments, mute slash block trolls. So this whole thing about posting in the official Hoyaverse accounts, uh, that just boosts their posts in the algorithm. You're actually helping them by doing yeah. this, but... Like, whoever made this thing, I, I think that they are actually very unaware children. And if they're not children, they're adults that have mentally stunted and have no understanding how the real world works. Like, none of this shit would have an impact other than maybe review bomb. But, like, it's just, it just seems like a bunch of kids with way too much fucking time. With, they're way too privileged in life if this is the most concerning thing in your fucking life. Like, you're going to waste your fucking life, like, boycotting fucking Genshin. That's, like, your most pressing concern. Like, that seems incredibly a waste of time to me. Let's move on to the don't section so it says don't make any additional purchases don't True. participate in giveaways don't just don't play the fucking game just stop playing the game don't participate in the hoyo versus economic flow uh that includes battle passes all this stuff and uh, also don't harass slash threat that's the one of the most disgusting thing i've seen a lot of hoyo versus like content creators recently get the fuck out of the community because the community has been so just just filled with vitriol. They're just so disgusting and nasty to each other. A lot of content creators are quitting. A lot of people, even voice actors, are getting death threats and getting harassed. Like, these people are insane. Threaten voice actors, artists, or any content creator. Yeah, you guys think they're going to stay true to their word right here about not harassing content creators? I guarantee that's going to be violated very quickly when mm -hmm. people see content creators they don't like. I mean, I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying, man. My fucking... Look at this shit. 136 dislikes on this fucking trailer. And I'm not mad about it because this is brigaded. It's fake. It's an extension number. Look at the actual analytics. The same fucking video shows 38 dislikes. These motherfuckers are going out doing this shit to every fucking Genshin video because Natlan fucking triggered them, bro. Straight up, that's what's going on. Making fun of this boycott. But they also say uh, don't send threats to customer support. Don't interact with racists and don't speak over people who are indigenous slash affected okay so this is getting clowned on by a lot of people and i think this uh this rightfully so. screen capture right here by hero hey really sums up everything going on and the level of seriousness behind this boycott so this individual says wait i'm sorry but what does calling my local politician do exactly where this user says someone brought up the option of communities whose culture natlin is appropriating to contact their leaders so they can raise the issue of hoyo hurting cultures and communities of people to the Chinese government. Like, do you really actually think, are you so naive and out of touch and unaware to think that contacting your local fucking politicians and wherever the fuck you live other than China would possibly reach China? Even if you were a fucking Chinese citizen and you fucking contacted your local community to try to get that shit to Hoyoverse, you really think that's just gonna pass? It just shows how delusional these people are. It makes no sense. They want you. They think this is gonna actually work. They want you to go to your local politicians 
and complain about what's happening in Genshin Impact. So then the local politicians can go to the United States government yes. and then yes. the United States government will contact the Chinese government to say yes. that these Genshin Impact... You know what? No, we need to contact Trump. Mr. President, I know you got shot recently, but there's a bigger issue right now other than your political assassination attempt. Hoyoverse is being racist. That's right. Netland don't got any dark-skinned waifus. I need you to stop Mr. Mihoyo, Mr. President. And Donald Trump will then deliver the message straight to Hoyoverse. Yep, you can do it, guys. Definitely together. Hack players are upset. Are, are, are we serious right now? Are yes. we serious? Very I'm also serious. seeing a lot of users bringing up the Genshin Impact TOS, and there's actually a section that says this. What? We cannot guarantee that you will not encounter content that you consider offensive or otherwise inappropriate, and we accept no <laughs> liability for any failure to remove or delay in removing any such content. They basically... <laughs> Say what you will, but that's a very... Man, that, that just exists just to protect Hoyoverse from situations like this too, right? It's just like, yeah, it's just in fine print. I'm sorry, you should have read the fucking contract, man. Say if you're upset about the themes of this fictional setting, we don't take responsibility for it, and you have to basically remove yourself from this situation. In fact, there is in-game dialogue <laughs> from Genshin Impact over and over again reminding yeah. players that this is a fictional setting with fictional yeah. characters and none of this is real. And the one thing that people are upset about is how, I guess, each region, again, Inazuma is supposed to be based on Japan, Liu is China, so you're expecting representation of different nationalities depending on the continent that they're trying to represent. And a lot of people are upset that there's, you know, not many dark skin toned characters in that land of Sumeru. There's another discussion about how, like, why are the dark skin waifus not selling well? Is it simply because of their aesthetics or is it because of their meta kit? If you look at Dea, and who's the other girl? Xian Yun? No, Xian, not Xian Yun. It was Xian something. She plays the guitar. Those characters' kits are kind of ass. I think they has gotten better over a while, but when, upon launch, like, a lot of people still have the idea that they is really ass. So, combination of those factors kind of led to the poor sales. Now then you have to ask yourself, does Hoyoverse intentionally give dark-skinned waifu shitty kits because they're racist? Now that is something you could never prove, right? All we're doing is trying to theorize and spitball potential, you know, um, perspectives on why this could be happening. But Sino is pretty good, right? Sino is pretty good ever since the advent of fucking uh, Furina. And there's a crazy Sino taser comp that's really good. But it, I, I just feels like it's a data driven decision at the end of the day. And maybe it's just a coincidence that the dark skinned waifus and husbandos got tribal, terrible kits. That's how sad this portion of the community is. They have to be constantly reminded that this is a fictional setting and not supposed to be representative of real life human beings. And I'm seeing more posts from this account saying this, disappointing to see that the Hoyoverse's new hashtag Genshin Impact characters still lack authentic cultural representation. Our call for diversity and respect in gaming continues. Join us in demanding better. And of course they're quoting Genshin Impact here and all this does is promote the post that they're quoting. It's just promoting this new character. Like, like, like this HIV boycott account is either the greatest fucking baiter ever and he's farming content or they're just so unaware of how social media, how just things in life works. I mean, they were unironically saying contact your local authorities. They have no understanding that this is just more free marketing and advertisement. What you're doing is just bringing more eyes to the fucking game. There's probably been more download. They probably saw this post and like, whoa, cute girl. I'm going to play this game without even fucking reading the post. A lot of people wouldn't even have seen this new promotion if it wasn't for this quote. It, it's, it's so backwards. And I've seen other accounts joining in on this boycott saying stuff like this not quote retweeting Genshin because I don't want them to get more engagement. Okay, fair. But they say this, <laughs> do not let Kava's rerun distract you from the Hoyo versus colorism. Do not let the new characters drip marketing distract you from the Hoyo versus racism. Yeah. Look at how pasty pale they are. Speak up. On top of all <laughs> that, again, no mention of any other thing, anything worse that I guess Hoyoverse or China does, but like the skin tone, that's the most important thing in the fucking video game. Discontinuing your Genshin Impact just account. Just stop playing. There's no mention of stopping playing this game. They just have to remind people to not buy new stuff. It's crazy. They, they can't, they can't. Fun fact, even if you are a free-to-play player, 
Even if you don't spend any money in the game, you simply existing in the ecosystem of a gacha game feeds the whole ecosystem. You are a plankton. You don't pay the game, but the whales will feed upon you. Without free-to-play players to flex upon, the whales do not exist. This is this vast ecosystem where everybody has their own roles. You have the free-to-play, which makes up the bulk of the player base, just fucking cucked out of their minds, playing, you know, using their fucking time to grind time. If you actually do the math, working a minimum wage job and then using that money to buy the resources is way more efficient than just playing fucking Genshin Impact. It's really sad, but that's what it is. And then there's like the light spenders who makes up a decent percentage. And then the smallest percentage is like the whales, right? The top, top ends. And those people will not pay and st still play the game if there are no other people to flex upon, right? And I know that Genshin is not a PvP game. I know that Genshin is not a you know, multiplayer. There is a co-op aspect to it, but it's not like a multiplayer MMO style where the flexing upon each other is more profound. But something about having a community in discords and different servers and a community where you can talk about the game and showing different polls and how lucky you got. Everything in a gacha game. You, whether you like it or not, if you play the game, you are actively helping the game by being in the ecosystem. Just because you're free to play doesn't mean that Hoyoverse is not profiting off of you. You are indirectly helping them by being a plankton. Can't give it up. They accuse Hoyoverse of colorism and racism, but they can't stop playing the game. It's crazy. But also, I saw some other very wild claims. So okay. some people are claiming that other Hoyoverse games actually do have some diversity. Nani? However, they're disappointed that Genshin Impact does not have the same. And they say this, it shocks me how such a pro LGBTQ plus company can be so colorist. Is Genshin Impact pro LGBTQ company? Sorry, Hoyoverse? When you think of Hoyoverse, MiHoYo, do you think pro LGBTQ? Well, a lot of the drip marketing with Black Swan and Acheron, there's a lot of Yuri, right? There's a lot of girl on girl action. Maybe he's onto something. Maybe he's cooking. Do better, Hoyaverse. This person is claiming yeah. that Hoyaverse is a pro LGBTQ plus company. That is a very wild claim. And then there's some infighting on that. So some Genshin Impact oh players are saying, well, hold on a second. They're not pro LGBTQ plus. They're actually queer baiting with their characters. So apparently that's enough. Mmm, that's an interesting thing. Queer baiting as in like, they're flaunting the Yuri in front of you. It's almost like, you know, corporations changing their flag and logo on June for Pride Month to profit off of those people, right? They're queer baiting. They don't actually believe in the cause. They're just using it for profit. Another issue going on in the Genshin Impact scene. But this is uh, another person clowning at saying, gun to the back of your head, name it five Hoyaverse characters that are LGBTQ. Yeah, pretty honest, but this whole situation is wild. This is a ridiculous situation. I cannot believe the- You still got time to fix it. I'm sorry. Nalan is not fucking changing because of these articles. And the banner sales will continue to do well. And if you just look at the revenue charts, they are still number one. Every fucking new report of gotcha revenue. What's the top three or top five? Genshin and Honkai Star Wars are usually up there, right? Nothing fucking changes because all these people are a vocal minorities that actually is insignificant in the grand scheme of things and are a bunch of fucking mentally ill children that has no idea of how life works and are getting upset at representation of characters in a fictional game and a fictional content, even if there is some sort of representation based on each continent. And because the numbers don't change, nothing will change. It's just that simple level of attention all this has gotten because of the complexion of some of these characters from a fictional region in a fictional setting it's wacky but anyways that's gonna do it for this video as always this boycott will end eventually yeah i guarantee you this shit's gonna be forgotten by us go give rev like on his channel like his sub to his videos if you haven't but like all internet drama and outrage you're gonna get the mentally ill people farming engagement in the beginning, making it seem like it's a crusade. But at the end of the day, nothing will change. In about two weeks, people will forget. And by the next time some new drip marketing happens, people will find another reason to be fucking upset about it, man. And again, if you truly... I, I hate siding with corporations, especially when those corporations are known to be just shitty-ass companies. Hoyoverse has done a lot of sh terrible things regarding their fucking just game development and just like representation of Genshin. It's just so fucking boring. Uh, some people like it because it's a casual game. I... I enjoyed it for what it was, but I just wanted a little bit more for it. But then there are other people on the exact other side, not represent the corporation, but players that are just so mentally ill and have 
nowhere in this have what's going on and brings up issues like this. Like, it's it's so stupid at the end of the day. Both sides just fucking suck.